I hope she ain't selling drugs over here, bro. Let me let me see. Yo, lady. Hello, lady. You got nice cakes and everything, but um, can you turn around so I can talk to you? What's, what's up? Speak to me. You okay? What 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 are you doing? You all right? Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 that's right there, Schmite, slash bedroom, slash uh, living room, slash chill room, slash all that. That's right. So, we have a new crib to go and check out today. That's right, folks. A new nice vacation home, actually, to go check out. This one is going to be a little bit out the way. Well, a whole lot out the way um, due to, um, like, I guess to have it be like a vacation type of home. You gotta kinda have it like away from everything, right? Just makes a lot of sense. So uh, today we're gonna be taking the Day Not Like Us Lambo out today, the Lambo truck. Got a few packages in the back right there. Let's go ahead and take this one out. But before we go and check out our new um, property that we're gonna purchase, we have to go and head to the club to pick up our profit from last night, all right? So if you don't know how that goes when you have a club, and you have a good night uh usually you want to go there the next day and pick up that money some people kind of pick up or take the money um with them from the club that night after the club ends right but we have security and all types of stuff like that so we could just always show up the next day and pick up our profit from the club all right so let's go ahead and head over to the club and uh pick up what we missed last night all right we are around the corner from our club this is going to be our club right here. Let's just go ahead and park right here. And of course lock up the car. Definitely got to lock up the car being around here, yo. Even though we got security guards outside. What's going on, yo? How everybody doing, man? How was y'all doing last night, man? Let me see your property report real quick. All right. Okay, okay. 13. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. All right, fellas, salute, salute. Yo. How's it going, man? Y'all good? All right, all right. Hey, 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 what's up, boss? Um, I appreciate you just not dropped the coffee, a cup of coffee on the ground over there. Some trash over here too. You might want to pick up. Hey, lady, what's going on? What we make last night? Twenty-four thousand nine hundred and twenty-six dollars for one day. All right, all right, all right. Not bad, not bad. I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Y'all keep it going, bro. Y'all making me a proud, happy owner of this establishment, man. Whenever y'all around in Los Santos, make sure y'all swing by Los Santos Club, all right? It's going to be down here on, uh, uh, where, where is it going to be? It's going to be down here on Texal City and Center Street. I guess this is Center Street right here. Texal City, Center Street. So next time y'all around Los Santos, man, come and swing by my club, man. You know what I mean? All right, so without further ado, man, let's go ahead and make our way to this uh, nice house. This one is going to be up towards, um, what is that place called up there? It's, it's up towards the woody area, you know what I mean? Where all the woods and stuff is at. Um, kind of going up towards Polito Bay. All right, so I will say it's uh, right in the middle of San Andreas Forest. All right, so that's where we're heading to right now. Right, we are a little bit closer to the house, and this is where we have to uh, take the dirt roads to get to the crib. All right, now I haven't seen the crib yet. I was just told that it's going to be out the way, and that uh, there's going to be a lot of dirt roads and stuff like that. So that's why I also took the the Lambo truck with us out today instead of um, the other car. This one sits a little bit higher better wheels due to the off-roading we have to do but as you can see you got um, all these animals and stuff out here as well so if you move out here hopefully uh, you got some guns because uh, you might have to shoot an animal or two but as you can see right here it looks to be our driveway to um, our establishment right here man this looks pretty nice let's get a nice little bird's eye view 
going up. All right, so going up, we are out here in the woods, as you can see. We have all the nice mountains and wood area, all the outdoor stuff. And that driveway is gonna lead all the way down to this nice house right here. Okay. This is nice, the noise. We got some uh, energy saving things right there going on. We got the long stairway that heads to the back dock where we could uh, chill and uh, jump on our boats or jet skis. Yeah, this looks pretty decent right here, man. Yep, selfie. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and head down the driveway right here. Okay. Yeah, I like this already because it's out the way. Nobody's going to know exactly where you're at, you know. Hell, nobody's really going to know how to get here. Okay, so um, coming inside the garage area, we have our own um, mechanic area right here. Where we can work on our cars. Seems like we got all our tools, every tool that you could imagine to work on your cars. We have right here to work on our they not like us a lambo edition um all right you got some shelving space right here as well um you got some bike space too so you could go biking got a bike rack there you have a nice little bike right there as well um and the front is real um just real plain and, and normal you know what i mean and it kind of it, it fits the house you know like this not having too much stuff in front of it since uh you're way out in the woody area you're the only house out here this is perfect this is perfect all right so um let's head back into the garage i see that there's a elevator door a sliding door right here okay so we got the sliding door that's gonna lead us down these steps to the dock that um, I will see behind the house. So since we're already here, let's head down here. Oh, got some company down here too, huh? Hello, hello. Do you speak? I hope she ain't selling drugs over here, bro. Let me, let me see. Yo, lady. Hello. Lady, you got nice cakes and everything, but um, can you turn around so I can talk to you? What's, what's up? Speak to me. You okay? What? What? What are you doing? You all right? You open your damn eyes. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. Oh. Okay. Ah. Um. Let's make her an offer she can't refuse. I really don't like drug dealers selling at my house and stuff, but uh, you know we are about that money. All right. Let me see. All right, 96. You better go for this. Okay, she's going to work for me. All right. You you want to chill out there, ma, okay? You, you want to Yeah. Out. You definitely want to chill out. All right. Let's give her um something to work with out here. I don't know how she's going to be making money out here. But uh yeah. Confirm. There you go. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. You might want to just stay with me. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want you here. But uh, anyway, back to our tour. Since I had to handle business real quick. Um, so yeah, when you get down these steps, and uh, it will lead you down to the dock. You have two chairs you can sit by, sit in, and you can fish. As you can see, you have your fishing pole there. You got your nice little table for your beers. The whole scene is set, you know what I mean, for a relaxing time of fishing right here. Even have a nice little lawn chair you can get your tan on and stuff like that. Um, like I said, you're not going to have too many visitors, if none at all. Um, there is a nice little, you know, um, I, I don't know what to call this, a lake or something like that. But you do have some running water in the back. Uh, probably be some people on boats every now and then sliding through. Uh, there is another dirt road on the other side as you can see there's a jeep over there So there will be people driving on that side But um, for the main part where you're at you will just be to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, we got some uh, kayak some kayaking boats or I think they're called kayaks I don't know but yet yeah, we got some uh, little weird boats and stuff out here. You got your um, 
uh, your, uh, yeah, 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 the thing right there. Damn, I forgot what that is called. The ski thing. Yeah, the little, yeah, you got that right there. Ain't that right? All right. Um, you want to hang tight here? I'm going to finish showing the rest of the house to my peoples, and I'll be back to deal with you later, lady. Okay. Going up, back here, up the steps will lead you through this sliding door right here. It's going to get you back inside the basement. All right. The garage, not the basement. But if we go out the garage, you have the front door right here. Let's go through the front door. And we are inside of our new vacation home right here, okay? Um, and this door is going to lead you to the garage, as you can see right there. All right. And this is going to be the inside of the house. As you can see, we have a uh, security system all around the house. You also have your uh, shoe rack, so you can come in and take off your shoes and put it right there. I think I'm going to keep that enforced. For me right now, I'm going to keep my nice Nikes on. Um, but any other visitors, we're going to have to take their shoes off just so we can keep the floor clean. Um, they have some nice feng shui inside here, man. I like the see-through ceiling glass that you can see straight through to the uh, sky. You know what I mean? You can check out the stars at night and all that good stuff. Um, plus during the daytime it saves you some money because um, you have the sun just shining through the glass so you really don't need to have these lights on during the daytime that's a cool thing right there um, you have these nice uh, furniture things right here it's some nice statues if you will some elephants and stuff like that we got some nice decoration on top of the the shelving right there the um, having a mind fart right now the little dresser right there some more statues on the side of that also the vines right here that's a definitely a nice touch you know with the plants and the vines since we're in the wooded area but if you come around here this will lead you into the living room area right here the l-shaped couch you got your nice glass coffee table and your flat screen tv with the surround sound you need your surround sound but uh yeah this is nice and it's also one of those step down kind of areas you know what i mean where you step down into the living room area i like that i like that well stepping back out and coming over here on the same side that our garage is in we have a bedroom and this is going to be an open bedroom as you can see you can just walk right into it if you want a little privacy you do have the robes right here the curtains that you can undo just to get your privacy but um in this bedroom is going to come with a nice little closet area an open closet area right there um, you're gonna have plants and uh, custom pictures and stuff everywhere around the house. You have your nice bed, two nightstands with your lamps and stuff. You got enough light over here. We got about two lamps on the nightstand and one big lamp right here. So you, you, you got enough light in here, right? And uh, coming out of here, let's go across to the other side and it's gonna lead us to the kitchen area. I like this kitchen area um, already because it has like the, the bar kind of look. You know, you have your bar stools right there that you can sit at. Um, you also have your island that you can sit at here as well. I wouldn't really call this an island because it's connected all the way to um, the other side of the kitchen. It's usually like this middle part and then that part, but this is connected also, okay? So you have this whole countertop that goes all the way around. You have your sink on this side and uh, you have your dishwasher underneath right there, all of your uh, shelves and um, and all your storage space and stuff up there with your cabinets and stuff. And you have your your um, your <laughs> your stove and all that that's inside of the wall right here. Um, and you have your stove over here too, um, not stove but oven. You have your oven inside the wall, and you have your stove over here in the countertop on this side. It's pretty nice, pretty nice setup, man. We got all of our uh, fruits and stuff like that, some nice wines. Um, yeah, man, this, this is nice, this is nice. So you can really cook up a good meal in here and then come and just place the plates over here so everybody can sit down and eat. Or if they want to sit down at the table, you still have a dining room area over here where everybody can sit down at the dining table and enjoy a good, nice meal. Got some more dressers with some more uh, nice decorations and flowers. I take it we're gonna see flowers and stuff like that all throughout the house. It adds, it adds a nice touch to it. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the backyard over here. We have a huge sliding door right there. I like that. Nice huge sliding door is gonna lead us to our balcony. All right, on the first floor. 
And as you can see, uh, we have our um, telescope right here that we can look through, check out everything that's on the mountains, look for intruders or whatever. Um, you also have some flowers out here too. All right, it's gonna be a lot of flowers. You have a nice sitting space right here, more flowers and your hot tub. That's right, man, got a nice hot tub out here. So you can sit down and um, enjoy the view straight from the hot tub. I also like the texture of the hot tub too. It gives like a stone wall type of look to the hot tub. You know what I mean? Like it was made it, it was made with uh, big pieces of stone or something like that. But it, it looks nice. I really like it. It looks nice. All right, on the other side of this balcony, we're going to have some uh, seating area. All right, seating area right here along with some binoculars. So you can check out the view just in case somebody's using the telescope. You have some more seating areas right here where you can enjoy the view, drink, smoke, or read a book or do whatever you want to do. And there's a lot of view to enjoy from this side. And not to mention, there's also a heater lamp in the corner. Just in case you come out here at nighttime, it's a little chilly. You have the heater lamp that you can turn on as well. All right, that's going to come in handy. Um, let's go over here and go through these doors. All right, this is a nice crib. I'm, I'm really liking this crib, man. Um, it's very like, you know, simple and to the point, right? Very simple and to the point, and I like that. I do like that. All right. So um, let's go down this way. All right, we didn't go down this way. Down this way is gonna lead you to a door. Yep, it is a door. And through this door, it's gonna lead us to a nice bathroom inside, okay? We have our shitter right here with all of our toilet paper and um, our towels. And of course, our shower, overhead shower right there. This is nice, nice. You could just walk into it. Yep, take the shower, that's nice. You have your sink right here as well. And you have your uh, tub, okay? This could be like a, a hot tub slash bath, you know? Um, yeah, it looks kind of like the same one outside, just a different texture on it. This is uh, more like granite or something like that, if you will. But you have a nice flat screen TV, so you can enjoy some TV while you're taking a bath, right? Right? This is nice. This is nice. Very well put together bathroom right here, yo. All right, let's head back out. Going through this side. So it seems like we checked out just about all of the house. Let's do a quick little run around just to make sure. But this house looks good, man. Um, I like the shoe rack right here. It also has the coat rack. All right. So you take off your coat, take off your shoes and, um, you know, feel at home, yo. All right. So it looks like there's going to be one bedroom spot also. It's one bedroom. Uh, looks like it's one level also. Um, let's go back downstairs. Up here. All right. We got a nice little drug lady out here and stuff. Um, Want to see if uh, she wanted to come upstairs. Where, where you at, lady? Are you still here? All right. All right. Um. Yeah, um, yeah, you might want to come over here. Let's see. Let's get you out of there so you can come upstairs. Come come a little closer to me. Let me see. All right, there we go. Okay, lady. Um, follow me up here. Let's see if you will follow me up the stairs. Come on. Come up here. Up here, lady. Up up the stairs, not on the side. You can't get up that, that way, can you? All right, well, come on. Let's see if she could get up on this side. Lady. Lady, lady. All right, lady. <laughs> we'll eventually get her up here. But this is a nice crib, man. I do like this, man. This way out the way. Um, we're definitely going to be renting this out. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, hey. We finally got you to come up here, huh, lady? All right, so I guess I'll take you with me and everything and uh, get you somewhere where you could do your thing comfortably. Um, I don't want a drug dealer over here at the vacation house, right? Yo, 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 get inside. Come on. There we go. All right, so she's going to be getting inside and I'm going to be taking her to find another place where we could do our um, criminal business and criminal activity at. All right. 
so uh while i take her to another location man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and if y'all enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in a modding gta 5 y'all's games grab is being big baller dance break we are out of here till next time yo yeah buddy i ain't scared of you motherfuckers